Hi, my name is Percy and I'm on the staff at the Hanson Public Library and I'm here today to talk with you a little bit about the solar eclipse that's coming up and how to view the eclipse safely. Um, so we do have the eclipse coming up on Monday, April 8th. Um, Hanson and Whitman are going to be in the 91% totality region, so it's you're definitely going to be able to tell that there's a solar eclipse going on. Um, so obviously with any kind of solar activity, we don't want to be looking directly at the sun because you can do serious damage to your vision. So you're going to want to be using um, glasses like these um, to view the solar eclipse, um, and if you don't have solar eclipse viewing glasses, there are some other ways to view it safely as well, um, which we're going to talk a little bit about later. Um, if you think you have solar eclipse glasses and you're not quite sure if they're the real thing, um, there's a few ways you could test them. First off, you're definitely not going to want to test them by looking at the sun, because again, looking directly at the sun can be dangerous and cause damage to your eyesight. So you can test your glasses by holding them directly up to a lamp um, and you shouldn't be able to see any light coming through the glasses. So if you can see any light at all coming through the glasses, those are probably not safe to view the solar eclipse with. And if you have glasses left over from the last eclipse in 2017, if they have any kind of scratches or bumps on them, you're going to want to throw those out and get some new ones. Um, we will have glasses available at our solar eclipse party on the 8th. Um, so if you need viewers and are looking for a place to view the eclipse safely, um, you can come down to the Hanson Library and we'll have some available there. Now, if you don't have glasses and want to view the eclipse in sort of an indirect way, you can make what's called a pinhole projector using some household objects. So using a cereal box or a cracker box, you can really make this easily um, just with things you have at home. Um, so this is a completed one, but I'll show you how to make a new one using this cracker box I have here. So you'll leave the bottom of the box sealed or closed, or you can also cover the bottom of the box with a plain piece of paper. I covered the bottom of this box here with some black paper, but you can also, like I said, leave the box just as is. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to leave the open, the um, top end of it open. Um, so you can either cut off the top tabs here um, using scissors, or you can just fold them in. So I'll just fold them in right here for this demonstration. And then you're going to take um, just some aluminum foil, um, any aluminum foil. So that's going to help direct the light um, from the sun. And you don't need a ton of it. You can just take a strip of it. And you're going to want to leave, like I have on this finished one, you're going to want to leave a little open compartment there. Um, because that's what you're going to be viewing through. And you're gonna cover the top of your box here um, with the foil. And like I said, leaving that sort of open portion here that you're gonna view through. And you're going to take either a thumbtack or a needle, and you're going to create a tiny little pinhole through the top of the tin foil. And what this does is it creates the same effect as what may be referred to as a camera obscura or a pinhole projector. And you're going to hold this up to the light and you're going to direct the sunlight in through that pinhole. And within the box, by viewing inside the box, you're going to actually be able to see the shape of the solar eclipse passing through. So you're gonna see the shape of the sun changing um, right on the bottom of the box. So it's a pretty cool trick to view the solar eclipse safely and in an indirect way. If you don't wanna go to the extent of making a pinhole projector, you can also use anything that's going to um, really redirect light through a concentrated area. So you can even use something like a colander to just send the light through and view the sunshine passing through um, on the sidewalk. So you don't even need to create something as as like like concentrated as this pinhole projector, but the pinhole is going to really concentrate the image in a way that is pretty cool to see. Um, so those are just a few ways that you can safely view the eclipse we have coming up. Um, and like I said, we will be having an eclipse party at the Hanson Library um, from two to five on the day of the eclipse, Monday, April 8th. Um, the eclipse is going to peak around 3.30 on that day and it'll be a 91% solar eclipse. So we hope to see you there.